I mean, if the flow of current is two ways, then why does energy only flow in one direction? These are the lies you were taught about electricity. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Here in chapter 27, figure 27.5, Feynman is describing this case that Derek also has in his video, namely current is running through a wire and we have electric field E and magnetic field B and their cross product results in pointing vector of energy flow into the wire from infinity, from outside. So everything is correct and everything looks as Feynman would say obviously nuts here. But let's see how Feynman concludes this great section 27. Here in the last paragraph, Feynman says, you might believe that you must revamp all your intuitions and therefore have a lot of things to study here, but it seems really not necessary. But it seems really not necessary. You don't need to feel that you will be in great trouble if you forget once in a while that the energy in a wire is flowing into the wire from the outside rather than along the wire. It seems to be only rarely of value when using the idea of energy conservation to notice in detail what path the energy is taking. The circulation of energy around a magnet and a charge seems, in most circumstances, to be quite, quite unimportant. It is not a vital detail, but it is clear that our ordinary intuitions are quite wrong. 